What's up, internets? Too squeaky? Too squeaky? What's up, internets? Welcome to Same Ish Different Day, the podcast with a name that we can't say anymore. This week, Raza wanted to say thanks for the memories and talk about... Thanks for the memories. You know Kim Kardashian is in, is in that music video? Fun fact. Fun fact. I fun didn't fact. know that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he wanted to reminisce about our earlier years and keep it spooky, so we're shifting to a less serious topic since we wanted to make this podcast fun and not totally cringe all the time. For the first time in a while, we decided to do something fun and not be that heavy. So he wanted to stick nice. in <laughs> Halloween town. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Debating the meaning of life last week, it felt like. Yeah, what the fuck was that about, man? Like, hey, let's have an existential crisis every Monday. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Before sounds that. good for my mental health. Raza, I wanted to start off by the, yeah, talking maybe. about Halloween Town and Halloween and growing up. What were your best memories? Like, what was some of the stuff you did in elementary school? Um. So, it just, I remember, like, at my elementary school, I would be, because, like, on October, like, Halloween, not Halloween day, but, like, if it was a Friday, or whatever, ever, and Halloween was on, on a Saturday, what would happen during the morning, it would be normal, it would be chill, you would just do normal school stuff, but then, you had the Halloween dance, and before the Halloween dance, motherfuckers had to dress up, and... We dressed up uh, to go into a dance. I got my, I got so much like like I was gonna say action, but then realized I'm in grade eight at that at that point. So you got <laughs> like you got all the grade eight action. You got that awkward I got, dancing. I got the awkward dances and stuff. I had to take off my costume because I was sweating too much with dancing with a girl. Um, Ooh. Uh, it it was it was kind of cool because like like. I was playing tag in my costume and throwing my sword at at people, because I was a knight one year. Okay. And I had the hel- the helmet and everything. I was just a ye- a yeet the sword and, and whatnot. And I think the next year, you weren't allowed to have any like objects like that because I think people uh, like me were hitting other people. And then it was I the the house that I live in now. Uh, was a Muslim family's old house, and they, they were close to us, my family, and two of their kids went to, were in, or two of their kids were in my grade, and they didn't do it at all. They were like, this is not Muslim. I was just like, mom, dad, am I doing haram by doing hello, hello, Halloween? Little, little Raza was so confused about his religion at that point. And they're like, no, you're literally having fun. Why? What is it like? Oh, so the such and such said, I'm not allowed to dress up as this because it's Satan worshiping. And, and like, and my, my mom said, you're dressed up as a knight. I don't understand. And the next year, he's like, you're just, you're, you're, you're an M&M. I don't know how, how, how that's Satan. Yeah, I had a homie who was a Seventh Day Adventist. So every Halloween, he wasn't allowed to come out with us. This sucks so hard. Uh, yeah, he'd usually no go to candy. the movies on Halloween. He'd usually go to the movies, and he wasn't allowed to like celebrate the season. It's a Satan holiday. Because e- yeah, every right. like the logic there, it's it's interesting logic is because every month has a holiday, right? That's dedicated to a different saint. That's dedicated to like some sort of Christian belief. But you yeah. know what month didn't have one? October. Halloween. And that's because oh, Lucifer, yeah, Lucifer mm-hmm. made it his holiday in October because that's when the seasons oh. change and when darkness comes. I mean, but then literally next like two months prior or after that. So what does that make Santa? <laughs> the bringer of night? Don't ask. Don't ask. Don't <laughs> ask. St. Nicholas ain't that sweet. Oh, I know. Family guy told him he he he's like the whole episode where they go to the, to the North Pole and Santa's about to die. He's just like, uh, Santa's just like, uh, go find me the Quran or something. Like, wait, what? Santa's Muslim? What is this now? So that was like pretty funny too. 
The Nintendo oh, did yeah. enslave a lot of mythical creatures. You know that, right? He, he did. did. He did yeah. have a, a labor, yeah. a, a wage-free labor force for quite some yeah, time. Yeah, he now. did. Yeah, and then uh, a mythical Bernie Sanders came and said, "Power to the labor. We must uh, uh, workers' rights." And the revolution came. Well, maybe <laughs> maybe Santa's ahead of all of us, and he just already has automated machinery. He's got so robot Santa's dogs making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he's always been a capitalist. There's no way that Santa is not a capitalist. I mean, to be fair, he has to go one day in the year and drop off all that shit. That's all him. He ain't getting any help. But it's all for the benefit of the brand, you know what I mean? He ain't doing it out of the goodness of his heart. Yeah, I mean, why? And then suddenly he, he, that f f fucker gives coal to kids? Come on, man. <laughs> kids don't understand. Kids don't un understand uh, what morals are till they're what fifteen. They don't know what what's good or bad. They just exactly put. They just put doo doo on everything. I did that when I was ten. I'm well, not weird. Not at all. Not at all. But speaking yeah. of Santa and and not doo doo. Speaking of Santa, that was my favorite memory always was being Santa for <laughs> Halloween. I loved it. I loved it, and I would do it again. Wait, what? I, you were in grade, for yeah, in grade three. In grade three, it was oh, one of the best ideas little Bailey ever had. It was like, it's like you know what? No one's gonna be for Halloween. Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa Claus. <laughs> I got so many extra candies from everyone, and then I was like running around and I was like gifting people candy, and then my mom the, sewed sewed me a reindeer, so I I carried around a reindeer all day too. So I had a reindeer in a reindeer. sack. And the reindeer had an empty tummy, so you could, like, put candy inside the reindeer. So you could, like, force-feed oh. the reindeer candy. You're gonna like it, motherfucker. You're yeah, I would like just it. shove it's candy coming. inside of this fucking reindeer that my mom made. What, what, what was the weirdest sort of thing you got when going trick-or-treating? Trick Bananas. Oh, so fruit. Likewise, I got an apple. But bananas so specifically. I'll be right back. Because the apples will keep, the apples will go in the bag, the candies, they might get bunked around a bit, but you're giving a child a banana that you know is going to go in that bag and get fucking smushed to all hell. It's like an <laughs> evil prank. As a child, I was sitting here and I was aware of this. I was like, this is a horrible idea. <laughs> oh, my chocolate bars are going to have all peanut or uh, all banana on them. It's going to be all much slimy in there. But hey, I'd uh, usually you're... throw it. At throw it in the bush or i was a little yeah. bit of a degenerate so i mean sometimes yeah. we throw it at people's houses but i bet you did yeah i i didn't do uh because like where, where i grew up it was all student so like there were all like, college kids handing, handing out kids and i remember the one year the same year i got an apple these guys handed these grade niners balls of beer and i literally bartered uh balls of beer with other trick-or-treaters going around that neighborhood to get more candy from from them. So, like, at one point, I had four balls of beer. And <laughs> I don't know how I got four. Don't ask me that. I just well, wound up with four. Uh, and then I said, if you give me, like, X amount of candies, I'll give you one bottle. All right, sick. Thank you. Give me all that. And I specifically said Reese Cups, specifically, or, like, the ones I like. Because, like... At that point, we were like exchanging shit because, like, I know for a fact when I went home, my dad would be diving right into the the pillowcase where all my candy uh, candies are in, and mm -hmm. uh, I would be like, get me because I, I knew what his his favorite chocolate bars were, and I made sure not to get them because then I could be like, "These are all mine, bitch." But then, what my mom would do, she would hide them for like a good mm. high end. and then for about three months straight, I would just see them appearing in my lunch every day at school. Yeah, that was, I would get the batch hidden and I'd be given doses. I would have a candy jar filled up and I could like take from it's the like, separate batch that was displayed to me. It's like where you and I are, <laughs> and our parents are like giving us chocolate. Drip feeding, yeah. Drip feeding, feeding. And like, yeah. <laughs> He needs his, his his daily chocolate fix. Let's let's give him. No, I had that. I think uh, the weirdest one I forgot. I also got. Mm -hmm. I ran into a house like that where it was like a younger couple, and they mm -hmm. just started. They went into their kitchen. and was like, "You can have whatever we have here." And I took a carrot. <laughs> what? 
Yeah, they just had a bunch of shit, and they're like, we got this, we got soap, we got that. And I was like, I'll take the carrot, because I can at least eat that. Got <laughs> Mom, all of a sudden, you go, you, you go home, like, you sort of, like, like take out the shit from, from your bag. It's not candy. It's all, like, knickknacks you've gotten from yeah. houses, because they, they don't have the... Yeah. The shit, the, 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 the one year, it was really weird, like, in, like, grade five, when, uh, it was, like, the first time I went alone without my parents, and I was with <laughs> my friend. This guy, we entered his, like, we went out the, like, trick-or-treat, and then he's, like, come on to our house. This guy gave, like, gives us a tour of his home, for some reason. <laughs> so it was, like, not, like, the entire whole, whole, whole house, but, like, the main floor. It's so we like, us. Yeah, this is us. We're like, can we have candy, please? We saw like a big, a big thing at like his door of, of chocolate, and we're like, we're, let's get out of here. It's like as soon as he turns, and we're like, okay, we're going now. My dad is like out there. I gotta go. Our dads weren't out there, but it was like it, it was like the weirdest experience. Good move, though. Yeah, and it was two of us. We could have tackled him. It was at the point where our. Our, our our bags were like now you could actually hit somebody with them and they could go tom 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 tumbling. Oh god, yeah. Give them a little, yeah. give, them a little then, give them a little tump with the candy. A little tump, yeah. Uh, but it was like yeah, that was and then like going out the whole thing. Yeah, going to parties was so fun. And, like high school, like dressing up as like whatever and going to the these parties and like yeah, I'm now leaning into that so Bailey can talk about his well his high school is just a degenerate <laughs> I was just a degenerate Halloween was yeah. going about time that means we were staying out till 3 a.m. we were doing things we weren't curfew. supposed to do you had a curfew in high school yeah I had a curfew you curfew. know like around it was midnight it was, and I was home or like usually around 11 30 I was so tired to come I was supposed to be home around midnight I would usually be home around midnight you know because, yeah, I lived in the neighborhood. I had the basement where everyone hung out in. I, like, lived in the neighborhood, and everyone would come to my house to chill. So it was, like, de- less of a concern for me. But I used to we'd yeah. goon about on Halloween. See, where I grew up in Scarborough is a very diverse area. So, so to start mm-hmm. off with, the politics as a kid, it's a diverse area. So you've got everything from, like, people who, who are on welfare checks to, like, multi-million dollar homeowners. So... You got a big rumor mill of kids deciphering who's got the good candy because it's a big That's shift in difference. Yeah, it's like two blocks <laughs> yeah. over. There could be some really rich people giving out full candy bars. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's relatable for a lot of people. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. It is. But it then you had the gold mine too. It was a gold yeah. mine. Once you got those big ones, you're like, now I can do. Now I can be a trader here. Now I can do this stuff. But, yeah. but you had the added variety because you're not far from the hood. There's like an aging up model. Once you hit about 10, you're mm-hmm. viable to start getting jumped by like 14 year olds for your candy. Oh, shit. so you have like an age yeah. cap on free trick or treating. And then and once people, fucked. once you're like grade six and you're, yeah. it's like you could get beat up by older kids. Like you're not a, people won't feel bad for beating you up. Then they're going to. Yeah. People are going to try to take your candy. So then... Does it ha- happen to you? Or? No, we always dodged it. But it was like... A, like It's like st- street lessons 101. Because then you're okay. at the age... There's no parents. There's no guardians. But you'll see yeah, there's yeah, like yeah. a group of 15-year-olds lingering in the schoolyard. So you want to make sure oh. you go around and away from that shit. Or you see that yeah. a bunch of people in the dark following like 12-year-olds. Like, it's like, okay, oh, shit, dude, you want to go down this like street? Mom? For us, we literally had cops in mind because, like, again, we're Mm-mm. it's not diverse. It's all white pe- people there, so like we had cops just circle the entire neighborhoods. We're like, are you some cops? Were actually cops too cool, busy right? with real crime on Halloween yeah. in our area. Yeah, they're like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, your cops actually had problems. There, our cops were like, oh, is there a, is there kids uh, bullying other kids? Meanwhile, in Toronto is like. They're finding fucking razor blades and chocolates. That shit never, ever, ever happened in my neighborhood. I think that's all a myth. If you look up the statistics on that, too, it's also really fucked. You know, the majority of the cases are not... There is a greater percentage of parents using Halloween as an excuse to poison their own children 
then there is a percentage of reported cases of people poisoning other people's Halloween candy. Oh, really? That's, that's a weird... That's a weird... I don't, okay, I don't like that. I think it's scared now. It's one of those fear-mongering news myths that try to, like, make you scared, but then what's because it became a news myth, Karens who do bad things then go, oh, it's the Halloween candy, and then the police are like, this doesn't actually happen. Let's look into this. <laughs> Be a better parent, Karen. That's me. More man. often than not, it was someone <laughs> put a little rat poison or a little something in Timmy's arrow bar. That's That's what, like... I remember a kid actually in my neighborhood got actually like hospitalized because they found traces of, of like I think arsenic in his chocolate bar That's right. or some sh That's shit right. like that. They were like, they were like, and it happened like it didn't happen. I think that was like the only time that anything hot happened in in, in our in our neighborhood. I remember the one time in order to get. They literally used us for their own entertainment. In order for us to get candy, we had to do, we had to do a rap battle. I, I remember that. I remember doing a that's rap awesome for, for one candy. They were like, "Oh, they're like, oh yeah, yeah." I was like, "Hey, can I have my chocolate bar now? I just humiliated my friend in front of his dad. So can I please have <laughs> this?" Okay. Young, young Parappa the rapper. Rapper the rapper. I was like so bad. I mean, when when they're when our parents were gone, when they didn't come out with us anymore, because like we went, because I assume your parents didn't go out with you for like early. They on, would I they think. would go. The parents would go out with you till to with me until I was about like eight ish. So what grade was? It? What grade? I don't know. Grade in? four or five. Grade four. Because okay, I was six. My parents were like, "Okay, now you're on on your own in like grade seven and eight. <laughs> the last time I went out was. Six. As I got older, I started to understand why the parents had to be around so long. <laughs> yeah, you know? exactly. I, as I said, there was the hierarchy. I was about to yeah. get hunted by 14-year-olds trying to steal my candy. And the worst part, it's like bite-sized, snack-sized chocolate bars. It doesn't even have to full or a banana. Or carrot. But you're literally and robbing what? kids. You're a child robbing other children. You know how easy that is? Because usually most of the time, it would just be that. It wasn't like, yo, give me your candy. I'm going to do this. It was usually just yeah. some 15-year-old walking up to you and just snatching a bag out of your hand and walking away. <laughs> and, and it wasn't You know what I mean? Like... And what are you going to do? You're like 10. What are you going to You're going to chase them? What are you, what are you going to do? Yeah, right. Use your, <laughs> use your use your uh, your costume powers that you acquired <laughs> for, to attack. So no, that's it wasn't it. like it wasn't violent like violent being hunted, but it was like you know they're just gonna walk up and take the bag and there ain't what are you what are you gonna do? Ain't nobody gonna say nothing. So you're gonna like there's a, and then you get to high school, and then some of the high schoolers would be looking for those fourteen year olds that have yeah. already. Because there's pecking order. It's like the food chain because the then, shows. This, yeah, you'd, this <laughs> you'd have the 16-year-olds then would yeah. wait for the younger 12 or 14-year-olds to go jack all the candy from everyone else. And then you go rob the 14-year-old that's got like 12 bags of other kids' candies. So it's like there's always a bigger fish. Yeah, there's always a bigger fish. <laughs> candy. So everybody got like screwed that, that, that night. Halloween night yeah, was like... Yeah the wild wild west in the, well because then in that's the why you, yeah you'd end up gooning about by the time you're like 16 you just go out and have fun and misbehave because you already like you're in a big group so that you don't get <laughs> robbed for your candy from 12. See, that's the thing yeah <laughs> what if like the like i remember the, the the assembly that we had like in grade 10 they're like oh girls if you're going trick treating to tonight Make sure they go with a, a, more than three friends because, you know, I was the like, world sucks. Ah, are you kidding me? What happened to the point where we just knock a motherfucker's door and say trick or treat and then punch them in the mouth and take their, take their, their candy and stuff? They should have just taught the kids to tase homeowners. That sounds like the best yeah, way to get candy the quickest. Honestly, yeah. But did you see any houses where they're like left the candies out and they're like, Take one. Yeah, yeah, and I had bad friends. I had bad friends. I had bad friends too. I was the bad friend. I was like, you know what? One, two. I'm schizo now. Three, four, five. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, like, I would take a handful, but I couldn't. Yeah. I was always a little too altruistic. It's like, 
if we take the whole bowl, then no one else gets any. I'll take a little bit mean, extra. Meanwhile, but. in the background, somebody's getting robbed uh, for their fucking uh, candy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it goes to Bailey's pick. See, and you see somebody get, like, Bailey's like, oh, I feel bad. And then somebody's getting jacked in the background with uh, his, 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 his candy bag. But yeah, dude, like, and then, yeah, just even talking about it now, like, I miss those days where, like, you would go out and then... Uh, it, it, like you would meet your friends, and then you would yeah. go with them some somewhere. And yeah. by the time the night is like halfway through, you're with at least twenty people. There's like a parade of you going in one direction, and every all the homeowners like, what the fuck? It's like the the apocalypse is yeah. is, is here. But I have nightmare reason, children. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, these last like four or five years, I'm like stoked on giving candy out now because like they come to the door they're like trick or trick like i'm like oh what are you supposed to be and i and i purposely guess it wrong and their parents look at me like i'm, I'm, I'm an idiot i was like bro have an imagination all right be i'm being a better parent than you uh and then i give them candy it's just like being able to be like here i was i used to be that now you're gonna do this and like, so you gotta what you gotta do raza is you gotta start putting business cards for our podcast in with the candy yeah all right cool 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 i already have stuff printed out so i can like just sneak it in all right like, all right sounds, this? <laughs> sounds good did you do you ever have the lazy homie like i had my one friend who used to just wear the same scream costume every single oh, year until he was like I was 15 that. i was that I was that I was that guy because I I had yeah I said screen costume but like different black out, outfit maybe a cape. To, to I knew that. it. That was the laziest for trick or treating because you're not putting any effort. You're just every year showing up, just like all right, give I'm me the candy. At that point, I just want candy. Yeah. I'm not concerned about. Give me the candy, candy bitch. It worked. It worked. But it's jokes because years later, I would actually put more effort into my my costume. Uh, the last Hello Halloween party I went to with with a two, I was a dude from, from the Purge. I actually um. put some work into it. I wore the mask on fucking stream when we did the the when we did the the thing. It was only for a good year, two years. I I did the same costume, but every other year. Oh, like, that's actually, fine. Yeah. That's fine. You made it. I was meant every year as a child. Oh, the kid, no, you'd no, no, show up no. and your homie I mean, would be wearing the same fucking costume yeah. again. And you know he didn't put no effort into it. Yeah. It was like every year, my man, oh, God, <laughs> he'd show up and he'd be like, okay, I'm ready to go. It's like you did no work. No yeah. work. And this dude went until he was like 15 because he was just like, fuck it, I'm getting the free candy. And it's like, it's the same mask. They recognize you by now. I can, I can see Bailey and be like, go back inside and change. We're not going anywhere to change your fucking costume. All right? Either you're changing or you're not going. You're going to be, become a dad at, at that point. I think well, one year like, he just took someone's like night chest piece and a sword. He's like, here you go. I changed oh. it up. <laughs> we're, not, we're not friends anymore, man. We're not fucking fuck that shit. Like, uh, like, um, like I remember growing up when, whenever we go to Walmart during like, like, remember, like the the second or third week of October, my parents would take me and my sister, sister to Walmart, or for you older kids, Zellers. Remember that? What was a, a a thing? And then we would go there, dude. I would lose my mind because I would spend so long picking out of which Spider-Man I wanted to be. If what I wanted to be like the black Spider-Man or did I want to be the normal one? So it was like my parents were like, "You can only pick one." It's like, well, you had me and my sister. You didn't say pick one. Why don't I get options? <laughs> Why don't I get to choose both? So I I was like, look, like the whole like growing up, I loved dressing up as like, and like every year, yeah, I got in costume. But then, as I would grow up, the costumes would get actually cheaper to make because I would just go to Valley Village and then get the shit. I would put at least thirty dollars and make a costume. Now, I went to freaking uh, Spirit to, today to get like a because I'm going to a Halloween party later, yeah. like later this month to get a small thing for myself. Costumes are like upwards of sixty, seventy dollars, man. You're gonna wear yeah. it once a year and you're gonna throw it away. And you're spending sixty bucks on that. 
Give me 60 bucks. I can make you something for the whole year. Fuck you. Pay me. People think it's cool. Should I be Jesus again this year? I could just be Jesus again. You again? You're talking about homie being lazy. Then look at you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did Jesus <laughs> once. It's an easy pull off. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> you, you, or you, you can be the the what's his face Blake from Workaholics. That's like, how do you advertise that? I've got the bear coat. That's about it. Anyway. Bear coat's a lazy one. The bear coat is always the last ditch result. I just wear the bear coat, but. Yes, internets. I have a bear coat. I wear. I wear. It's got the paws. It's got the hat. If you've seen Workaholics, it's that for sure meme. Like I've got the coat from that, and it's quite warm and cozy, and I love it. Mm -hmm. But I'm jealous of it. My best costume I did was was Santa. My second best I made with my mom was another because I was a weird kid. I was like, I want to be this, so I was a toilet. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah, so we took like a cardboard box and I made a paper mache bowl and I wore this like big box and I had a paper, I had a toilet bowl sitting in front of me and I had a little seat that would open. <laughs> but, like, sit and on I me. just like walked around school. <laughs> yeah, I just walked around school and then I, when I trick or treated, I would like flip up the lid and get them to put, put the there. candy that in is the bowl. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you put, a, put the toilet, man. Come on. But then, so my, my greedy friends would, I'd try to like get them, I'd get them to put the candy in my bowl, and then my friends would take the candy. Oh, really? They'd take the candy out of the bowl before I could get to it. <laughs> It'd be your own. Like in front of the own. parents giving the candy. That's how fucking <laughs> conniving they were. They'd drop it in my bowl, and my friend would reach over this and is put mine it in. now? <laughs> it <laughs> It'd be your own, own man's, bro. It'd be your own, own homies um, most of the time. But so yeah, toilet. Toilet was second Which tier to toilet? Santa. See, I I don't really have that many. I like I remember the one year my sister and I both went as M and M's, and not like the cool ones. Like fucking, we had Mickey Mouse hands and Mickey Mouse shoes, and like I was the blue one, she was the, the green one. It was like the most. Oh my god, it's traumatic. That's very like, Raza. Like, I hope you have photos of this. I probably don't because I don't remember that much of that. I put it back in my head. I remember going to school and doing the whole thing where you have to, to dress up for the second half of of the school of, of, of the school day. And I was just like, I don't want to dress up. Now. Everybody has super cool costumes here. I'm a fucking M&M. And here's the thing. I don't think anybody made a big deal about it except for me. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to be a... <laughs> and people are going to be... I, I think I, I went out trick-or-treating that day and i probably got a bunch of m m candies more than anything else because i just assumed i'm a love it or smarties that i'm super into smarties i mean to be fair i made a point about it i gave my sister and my dad all of the smarties and then they would trade or my sister would give me all of her m ms because i was an m m guy and she has no taste i didn't experience that because i was an only child and then, yeah. like, not to be sad, it's, I didn't have a dad to steal my candy, so it's just all Bailey's candy at the end of the day. It's not really sad. It's more like, yeah, you take a dub. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like, all gone. Like, what am I talking about? My dad's like, I don't do anything. Is his mouth covered in chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, okay. It would, yeah, like, it would be so fun. Like, it would be so kind of, Like, every year, I would, I would be coming home from trick-or-treating all exhausted. My dad is like put this away somewhere and then he would just put his hands and then just put it in his pocket and then put it away and then mom he'd be like dad i can see you but like i'm your father this is tax into living in in, in my house this is, this is rent this is this rent, is rent. I'm, I'm in grade five <laughs> i'm 10 years old with some shit that's <laughs> i had well that was i was resourceful little baby because i was thinking of like monies and also uh i was a hungry i was a hungry boys in the hustle so i'd always you know no one ever wanted the chips give me all the chips boy i took all the really? fucking chip bags yeah no one ever all wanted the chips, chips. i'd take chip all the chips because then i got recess snacks for the next fucking three months bitches i'm i'm set i'm set you're, you're, uh, right. you're just like i can have food during the recess <laughs> like a king no one can do this properly like the way I can do it. It's like, <laughs> yo, fuck y'all. You, you guys can have all those little Reese's pieces and 
finish it all in a month. I'm going to yeah. stock up on chips. <laughs> I, and I would always lose my mind when I got the Cheetos one. I'd be like, yes! The Cheeto chips, like the small ones? Uh, the Cheetos, are shit. you crunchy or puffy? Are you a puffy. A crunch or, I'm a puffs man, too. Yeah, crunchy is like... Go, go home. You're not I've gotten into home. it in my adulthood. I've gotten into it in my adulthood, but it's too, it's too, it's too hard, dude. Like I can't. I like the, It was a weird yeah. recent realization. I was always a puff man, and then one day, like yeah. a year or two ago, I had it. It was like, hmm, kind of, hmm. Oh. I, I don't hate oh. this so much. I think I'm old oh. now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm, I'm reaching the point in my life where I like things that give me pain while I'm, I'm eating. Yeah. Yeah. Like 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 sweet Adriel chili heat over here. Um, uh, did you get those like rockets or like not the rockets but like the uh, the candy sticks? Like their sugar sticks. The Popeye like, sticks, the cigarettes, the candy cigarettes. The cigarettes. Yeah, I remember like smoking, like, pretending to smoke that, and I was like, "This is the dumbest thing ever." But I, uh, to be fun, to uh, to full disclosure, I hated all, all of those rockets. The candy sticks, the 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 Pez. One year, I remember we got Pez dispensers, random as fuck, and like I don't like that at all. So I was like, all those type of shit, I put away, and I just said, hey, people, do you just want this? I don't. This is some. This is some. I liked rockets. Effort. I liked rockets, so I would end up with a lifetime supply because people like you would just give up the rockets. And be like, I, yeah. uh, I, uh, same thing. I don't eat them all in one night. I would keep all the rockets in a bowl, and then I would have like rockets for a year. It's like, all right, Recessed. fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> you're sitting at your lunch table, you'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm living like a goddamn <laughs> king right, right now. Yeah, y'all, I, I, y'all didn't think yeah. ahead. <laughs> I um, I rem remember the Tootsie Rolls were like, you were like if 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 you got tootsie rolls you were like a king amongst peasants because in my neck connected with people love that and Tor Tol Tolberon, uh, like the chocolate one yeah i think Tolberon always was and for me it was just the high quality chocolates that everyone wanted in our neighborhood just anything anything that was like oh henry caramel caramel was a hot ticket yeah. you know what yeah. i mean uh yeah. yeah that type of shit that type of shit I made a big deal to be like, yo, I want Reese cups. That's all I want. If I get all Reese cups or all O or half O Henry, I'm 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 set. I'm I'm good for the e e evening. Oh, and then my mom would eat coffee crisps, so I'd hook it up. I would get the coffee crisps from all the other kids since no one wanted fucking coffee crisp and yeah, what's send up it with to that? my mom. Coffee crisp is actually delicious. It's good. I love coffee crisps. I, again, I didn't get into it until I started drinking coffee, and then I was like 13, oh, okay. and I'm like, oh, this is tasty. <laughs> Big change more, of perspective. More, I haven't had coffee but... crisp in a minute. Yeah, I haven't had a... I actually have, haven't had chocolate bar in a minute, too. I, I treated I myself know. this weekend. They have a Reese's Pieces O. Henry bar. Yeah, I know Bomb. that one. That one's been around for a while now. Yeah. yeah Perfect it's, it's combo. Like, um, yeah, it's just like a weird. Uh, it, it it were even though there is already peanut in a normal O Henry. That's a, that's a oh, I'm a peanut peanut butter man's. I'm a peanut yeah. butter man's. So you put peanut butter I inside that. that O Henry. Yes, please. And then they have like the the, the king size Reese cups now. They're like this big. Uh, yeah, I never had one of those. It's, or thick. It seems like or this thick, and they're like this put big. Put me right to bed with that you know what i mean it's i i would only have like three or four bites a day and then that, that took me about a week to finish that's a smart so, way to do it yeah it's a very smart way to so, do it it's it's so rich that's the only problem man it's the only only uh issue but yeah so um we would like to give our viewers since bailey's uh ship shifting his vape pen um around i'm uh, plugging in my <laughs> I'm <laughs> plugging in my ear pods, you peasant. You have an Android phone. And I still have AirPods because... Do they work? Status. Oh, yeah, they do. Do, do they work? Oh, because oh, it's Bluetooth, right? It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. matter? Oh, okay. It takes a, a couple Apple more uh, loops to jump through. Sort of... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and supposedly there's some sort of... There's some. I'm missing some feature in it. 
It's like if it's multi, like I can't level it as well as it's bullshit. It's bullshit, I tell ya. It's Apple. It's Apple. But I, anyways, I Raza was trying to segue. Raza was trying to segue. We don't so have a Reddit sex good, one. Yeah, because I realized, fuck Reddit. We'll do, we'll do it next week. <laughs> and we're also we're, do, we're, we're doing some re restructuring. As you can tell, Wine Mom went out for, for milk and hasn't come home for a few weeks. So uh, when, when, when Wine Mom I'm comes back, she'll minute. be back. Yeah, we've been wondering where she's at. So, yeah, <laughs> where are the house keys? Shit, yeah, man. The car is still gone. The, uh, the cats now. Cat food is gone. <sighs> it's a tough times out here. But nonetheless, yeah. we're gone I'm with orphaned. Reddit for the week. Uh, we, we're orphaned. We're sad. We're kind of just, yeah. you could listen to us babble. But we got structure coming in next week in two weeks. Keep them eyes out. Next Raza, week two weeks. <laughs> Raza, give them, give them some Halloween costume ideas that people can so, wear. So, 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 some like adult. This is adult hella Halloween costume. So not your kitty. Only this adult. Like, only adult. So a sexy okay. Buzz Lightyear or a sexy. They have sexy, to be sex appeal ones. No, I'm just making an example. It's just like some something that. Uh, sexy Bob I'm Ross. Doing, sexy Bob Ross, which I've seen. So, the one that my partner suggested, which I thought was a good one, and shout out to my partner, uh, is uh, be the painting to go with Bob Ross. So oh, okay. if some if your homie's being Bob Ross, you dress up as a painting and you frame yourself. You wear all white and then just wear that, a little frame and have would, people paint you at the party. That would be a good cu couples one because your yeah. girl could go as as Bob Ross, sexy Bob Ross, and then you could be. The <laughs> yeah. And then you get yeah. people to paint you. And then the there bit is go. Bob Ross is too drunk to paint and he needs the party to help him. Ah. Wait. Okay. <laughs> That's the bit. <laughs> Bob Ross is like, so, we just make accidents here. I'm drunk as fuck right now, so we're yeah. going to make some accidents. <laughs> That's the tone you have to talk in. You don't be loud, belligerent, but you gotta be like, "We are, yeah, we are make uh, happy accidents." Yeah, yeah you just uh, <laughs> stumble in and wave in the thing. Tell me your words, and uh, <laughs> I still don't, I, I'm, I stopped paying child support like five months ago. So you go off like a whole like tangent. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> my, my wife took the kids. Sharon, I miss you. But good ones, good ones. And what I guarantee you is going to be happening. I don't think it is a good one personally because it will be overdone. Every single fucking person is going to be a Stranger Things character. Yeah, it's going to be like last year. It was the Joker and Harley Quinn. So this year it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be one of. Those, I hate that. Sh I hate that shit so much. We're like everyone's going to be that girl that got possessed. Everyone's going to be the girl that got possessed from the show. That little ginger oh, girl. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um uh I remember like the last uh, Halloween, Halloween party I went to, I saw at least five or th or four Joaquin Phoenix Joker. So I, I hate the fact that like people are just it, like there's no there's no really a uniqueness to this stuff because people are like the hot cuz like I remember when Suicide Squad came out in 2017 or yeah. some some shit and every girl wanted to be Har that Har Harley Quinn. That's like, still that, that. Why did that outfit specifically? Do you think why did it? It's become a classic. Why? Oh, has it been? Oh, because I don't. I don't know. It's a yeah. staple in the rotation now. If you go to the Halloween store, or you go out this Halloween. Harley Quinn yeah. is like one of the characters to be now. You know what I mean? Like There's Batman, Harley, Harley Quinn, because they match up. Yeah, because the, the pigtails, even little girl, little kids and shit will be it. They just don't wear the sexy booty shorts. It's just because of the pigtails yeah. and a baseball bat. It's easy to do. You just need to cheer the girl. Yeah, he's a little monster. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff like that. I think it's just like, I think mainly, well, if we're talking about adults here, it's the fact that it's like, uh, it's like a sexy, like, like, like a sexy costume without actually being or making it sexified. It's already inherently sexy. So like, oh. Okay. Let's just make it. I, that's what I think. I could be completely wrong about that, but I just think, I think it's they don't, have, they don't have to make it sexier since it's already kind of. I guess that's true. I don't know. I, don't know. I think it's less effort on the wearer's behalf, no matter 
Yeah, yeah. What? Like, I've, yeah. I've seen dudes work too, and they're like rocking the same. They don't really change much of it. They're like, it's just the only thing you're like, it's like now surfboard hair, where it's like, it's like jacked up and what and what what whatnot. So it's like, I it's I just assume this is yeah less effort for them to actually improvise when it's like already because like when you're an adult, I assume you want to be like look good and one of the one of the things that can help you look good is look hot right so so i get i i have one more good one that i want to see right okay i want to i want to see the island boys i want to see the island boys halloween costume i feel like there's going to be something something of that done we're we're going to (laughs) see a celeb do it i guarantee you or celebs we're gonna see. I, I, I hope so. Cause that actually sounds like a good, a good, uh, uh, you and, and your homies costume can run that. Mhm, mhm. And the last one, the my, 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 my bouncy brain, bouncy brain. Last one that I yeah. think is gonna be popping because of TikTok trends. Mm-hmm. Right, I bet you there's gonna mm-hmm. be people dressed up as corn, like the vegetable, the oh, vegetable I've corn. Looked- because of that stupid okay. song and the kid what's you're what's not on the tiktok you're a boomer you're a boomer i tell you i guess so i'm sorry you're a boomer <laughs> I shut it's mouth. an old trend too <laughs> um, some some kid was interviewed for a tiktok and they were just he had this loop of him they're like what do you like and he's like corn i love corn life is corn he was just going off about corn oh. when this stupid kid voice and then people took stupid. it like a TikTok sample and just like everything they liked, they put whatever they loved to the sound of the kid saying, I love corn. And then oh. a, another dude remixed it into a song. And now it's a song that people use for like all their fucking TikTok videos. So it's going to be like, so basically people are going to dr- dr- dress up as corn for Halloween then. That's what it is. I bet you. I bet you there'll be people who dress up as corn specifically because of a TikTok trend. That's so dumb, bro. You should just dress up as like, you know, like put like a hot nurse at that point. Because it's like no energy at that point. I'm, I'm looking up the corn TikTok on right now. Oh, I've seen this. Yes. Good. We live in. Good. It got way overblown. The dude remixed yeah. it. Some famous YouTuber remixed it, and it became a trending sound. And I, I got ran into the ground. Though, well, I, well, the internet tends to do to do that with everything in these days. Yeah. Um, I guarantee you, though, because Overwatch is now like like here now, like like in October, we're gonna see but like either Diva. Like a newer diva, a newer tracer, all those characters, because they're all, they're all like like they're all like every year you 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 see those characters. I guarantee you, we're gonna see these ones this year too, because it's all about that stuff for now. And then and then uh, somebody I saw a hell or pinhead pinhead co- costume that would, would be kind of cool to do. Pinhead is a cool one, but I don't think that's like a poppin' one. It's not. Well, the new one, the new Pinhead, just or the new ugh, not Pinhead, Hellraiser movie just came out like I think last week. Oh really? So eh? It's like it has an, it's like a remake. Uh, a pair. Uh, Hellraiser is now. Uh, they switched it. It's not. It's the. It's not a dude anymore. They have made it a, an androgynous person. Okay. Um, and apparently the backlash is. Against the fact that the 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 the, the hell is it Pinhead? Yeah, it is Pinhead. Yeah, or, the new Pinhead. Yeah, Pinhead is is he's or Pinhead is in androgynous, adron, but pretty sure there's a woman playing. Uh, yeah, it is a, a character. So that's where the hate is coming from. And then I looked into it. It's a book. I didn't know Hellraiser was a book. First of all, that's yeah, blew my mind. And then se- second of all, the the author said Pinhead is supposed to be not gender specific. There's he doesn't yeah. even make any. He, there's no sort of like uh, what's the word? There's no sort of like uh, tell of what Pinhead is. If you think he's a man, or if, if 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 you think Pinhead is a dude, that's on that's you telling yourself that. The author and the director didn't say that, that Pinhead's a uh, supposed to be a, a man. 
which is funny as fuck. It and, is, and, and it's like, this. Did you read the source material? Like, no. So you're mad at nothing, because in the book he's like Pinhead isn't isn't a, like a um like a yeah, he's like a he's demon like, or something. He's like demon, yeah. Last time I checked, demons don't really have uh, uh, demons are demons. Raza, it's any more fun. any more costume suggestions that you think are um, dope for the season? You're being Santa. I think that's a good one too. People should steal that one. That's a good one. Now we're gonna to see too many Christmas Santas. Too many Christmas. I I don't think so because it's like Christmas Santa is hard to pull off at at the same time. Imagine like it's not it's not a mobile co costume. So unless you wanna not move around a, a lot, you won't be. It's pretty Santa. mobile. His tummy's a little annoying, but yeah, you have to wear like a pillow to show that to and whatnot. Unless you're like a swole Santa, and then my point doesn't stand. I, I think, if anything, I would will be like, I don't know what I would want to be. I want to be something like, like cringy where people will not want to talk to me anymore. Like a, like a, uh, like Ken from Barbie. I'll be that. There you go. There, there, there's my. How's that cringy? Oh, I think cringy, <laughs> cringy is being something a frat boy would be like wearing a toga outfit or something you know oh I mean? like a greek person yeah i know yeah. um yeah yeah or like kiss me i'm irish or some bullshit like yeah that, like that yeah yeah i should be a a, a a costume that like is a metaphor for essay that's what i should be. <laughs> you know what you should be you should be that guy from the eternals no harry styles yeah, Harry Styles, yeah. Okay. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> I knew what your joke was for. <laughs> I knew what joke was for. I just I didn't know his 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 name. Um my uh my um I think you can edit part of the story out. Um but uh Irving, I helped him with his costume one year. I think this is like the same year you and I and I and I met. And then he he was going as a joint, right? Mm -hmm. But the thing, the twist about his uh, his costume, his head's hair, right? And the joint goes out this way, so it's all orange hair. Mm -hmm. But then he has a little bit of, of, a, of a little flap. And the flap is, you know, where you expect it, it, it to be, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he, he has a sign, like an arrow pointing to the flap. And it says... Blow me here if you want to get high. And I was like, "You're you're older than me. You know that, right?" right? That's a little douchey. It's a good giggle, but it's definitely douchey. I I didn't laugh. I was just like, I gave a, a fake laugh. I was like, "Ha ha ha!" It's kind of funny. Right? It's douchey, <laughs> but it's kind of funny. It's worth a giggle. Oh. I was I don't know. It was, just, it was like super. I was just like, you could be more creative. With it's just creepy because it's Halloween and like kids and like I'm not Man. a big person of like let's shield the kids, but I'm one for like some oh, decency. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, so you don't yeah. need some guy walking around with a suck my dick sign on Halloween. You know what I mean? That's a little yeah. too <laughs> abrasive. Like a giant walking doobie just telling you to suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> like a little, like towel. Or, yo, dude, you should go to that towelie. You want to get high? Want to get high? <laughs> you could do a, like, blue or... Towelie blue. would be a good one. Don't be blue because your pores will, like, suffocate and then you will suffocate. So just, just uh, just, just don't do any sort of color, color face. Just... Put your head in a in a towel, and there you go. And then have like one of my. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. I was gonna say one of my oh more my recent God. ones that was easy is I was uh, BoJack Horseman. Oh, so you just put on a horse hat or a horse thing? Yeah, you just buy a cut. You buy a blue overcoat and a blue sweater, and then you put on chucks and put on a horse head. God, one of my costumes was kind of problematic, and I think I told you about it, but I was in grade like seven or six so i didn't even problematic was even the thing in my head i was just more concerned about if i could get a dance or not um and i went as a you know like a like a 
an unhoused person. And so, <laughs> so I got, oh my I gosh. got, I went, I went to Valley Village. I got like, uh, like a like an overcoat and everything. I cut out. I made it all. I cut out the, like a pocket. Put a a patch there. Bought a beard. Uh, had a wig and whatnot. Uh, and just looked like disheveled. And it was like pretty lit. Because I said, this is a st- art and crafts. This is my first homemade costume. That's awesome. But that's, again, that's fun, but yeah. This was like when Reza was like in grade seven or six. So like more yeah. than a decade has passed. When I was in kindergarten, I was an RCMP officer. So, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Fucking fed. <laughs> yeah, 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 I had the big hat and everything. Because anyway, because like I think it was like kind of cool, like being that, being an RCMP. Because you're like, oh, I'm a, I, I can wear a, a uniform. And stuff yeah. Like that. yeah. And I was That's a kid in Alberta, so that those were our cops too. So then I was like, oh, I see. I wear this stupid outfit. Yeah. I mean, people were like, expecting the front line Blue Lives Matter. Give it up for. Bailey over here for uh, respect to cops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, shit. like, like honestly, like I'm glad you and I kind of like g- grew up then, because then we could we could do those sh- that shit and not really like once, and then look back and be like, okay, we were it, it's not our fault. We're, we were literally children back then. Yeah. Like, I was. We were. Li- I I was literally like crying uh uh at that point i man's was like a, a mama's boy at that point so i was like if i was doing something problematic i know for a fact that's an issue it's like don't do any type of edgy like i don't understand why people like do like i remember seeing a, a costume uh, a couple years ago about people uh, these guys were the amigos and they were white and and they all did blackface like <laughs> you serious <laughs> Did they do the blackface? No, they didn't. Yeah. No, they they did? Yeah, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Oh, okay. That's and like, bad. I, and this was like 2017. Yes, no. Six, six, seven, seven, 17. I was just like, bro, you know, like, we're in that time where you can't sort of like do this shit any, anymore. They're like, yeah, but how people know who are the Migos? I'm just like, you can put the name tags of of uh of the man's on on your shirt you can literally say your quad or your, your quavo bam people are like oh your quavo that's pretty cool right or you can just wear his style wear his round wear his ultra tight pants wear his fucking round uh, little tiny glasses sunglasses. yeah that's all you need to do why are you why are you going balls deep in first of all i didn't even know your amigos i just thought you were being racist uh, towards black people in my like that's what i said i was like i didn't know your so you knew amigos. these guys no, uh, well, they were classmates. They were, they were all over the news. Oh, no, this is... A, I know what, you, what you're talking about, but this is like a separate incident. This, this is, is a, like... Oh, that's a wild. What, yeah. what a... In here. Racist coincidence. That was... In I had here. a... Yeah. They had uh, that at Brock University, the university I went to. I don't care calling them out because fuck it. That it was... Because <laughs> it was like a student union party, and then the winners yeah. of the costume contest at the student union were the Jamaican bobsled team, and they were and all they in were blackface. Jamaican. They were okay. all in blackface. That's so weird. What, and it was because they went this? through the effort. Oh, man, it was like 2016, 2017. It wasn't that. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was pretty man. far into it. That's why everyone was like, how did you, why did you give them? Yeah. Uh, why can did you, you give them the award? Why did you give them yeah. the award? Who? What are you thinking? <laughs> and didn't they? Th- I don't understand what people now because I've seen like in the last like two years, people are like, still doing that f- for costumes, right? It's like, don't you realize what you're doing? How that's a bad thing. You can still do. You you, you can be another race if you want, like uh, like a, a character from another race, but you, you don't have to physically be that race right <laughs> just like i won't be samurai jack because like he, like he's uh he's asian right i won't be that i'll literally wear the the get up and whatnot but i won't do the whole like fucking 
the whole like like makeup shit. Oh nine, yeah. Like in 2013, I be- I can't believe nobody fucking bad an eye against this, but they did like a couple years ago. Remember this movie called Cloud Atlas? Yes, Tom okay, Hanks. So with Tom Hanks, Anna Hathaway, Halle Berry, all all that. It was made by, by the Wachowski sisters. Uh, yeah. Um. There's uh and like it's it's told but like there's like different timelines same actors mm-hmm. but different time periods one of them it's like Neo Tokyo and they have all the white actors doing like the Asian makeup right like they yeah. have like shit going over this so it makes them look like they're Asian right I'm gonna say, yeah. I didn't say anything when I watched it but then years later I was like like I even thought about this like while taking a shower the other day I was like. That movie was kind of racist. <laughs> they had one Asian person, and all of that movie, and they had uh, white people playing Japanese people, which is the funniest part of that entire movie. And nobody said any- anything. It didn't do well, but nobody were like, "Hey, we gotta, we gotta look at this." We gotta wow, that's stop. creepy too. They did such I, like an exaggerated person. Exactly, it's so like bad, but like th- this is like 2012, so nobody really. This is like I believe it was like it's no- nothing was happening. No- nobody was being called out for that. Mm-hmm. And, but like I remember seeing one in like uh, like a Dutch, a Dutch um, talent show. Yeah, dude. Uh, what's his face? John Smith. This is John Smith in in The Matrix. Agent John. Oh God! John, it is John Smith. Yeah, That's, I didn't even recognize it. Yeah, I can. Uh, yeah, yeah, because he's it's, it's fucking bad. Yeah, they so look that up. Look up, look up John Smith in Cloud Atlas, and you'll get an idea of this audio, listeners. Yeah, it's so weird, man. And like, just looking back, it was like, oh my, it's it's, I don't. I don't know. That movie definitely can't be made now. I mean, it can be, but you know, now I'm glad we we have a wide plethora of of Asian American <laughs> actors. So I'm glad we have that in, in Italy. It's like Shang Chi show, showed us that and what and what not. Um, uh, fucking uh, the big one this year. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Yeah, she's gonna be in the new. What's your TV show. That's crazy how you do one good thing and then it's like be in all of the universes, please. Fucking right. What well, she's also kind of a nerd as well. She she's been in a lot of nerd stuff in the past. Like she her her big one was uh, hidden hidden tiger crouching dragon that movie or am, am I saying it the other. Hidden, Crouching Tiger, hidden, hidden Dragon. Dragon, yeah, that's it. That, she was in. That was her career. I think started at that point. Yes, and I never really. Did you yeah. See that movie. Yeah, a I long time ago. Movie. That's I why was, I have to write. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. It was kind of weird. But then it's again, one of the I was classics. Like a I, was like, I didn't appreciate movies. I was a, in Pokemon back then. So I was like, the fuck is this? <laughs> You, it has Three a hours. very distinct, it's <laughs> like that? the Matrix style of fighting. So everything's very yeah. floaty. It's like when they just figured out wire work well. So the choreography yeah. is really, really Amazing. cool. And then yeah. it's also really awkward and weird because they're like flying around on the wires. And it's so obvious now that it's like 2022. Yeah, yeah. So I, I may watch it the, the, this week. Yeah, it's I, a fun one. Like the, the whole thing. The sword choreography is incredible. The fight scene choreography is incredible. It's pretty. The set designs. I, it's all in <laughs> Chinese, if I'm correct. Well, I I, I hope so, because uh, it's like a Chinese, like a big Chinese production, but it's Hollywood. Uh, the, well, that's, I was really, yeah, I figured they might have Hollywoodized it. Yeah. Um. But they didn't, and it's uh, da, 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 and it's just yeah, the wires get a little fake. But you can see the Matrix inspiration in it. But yeah. we're distracted. Was, yeah, we are. I was like, what? what I want? I don't. I want you to talking about more than this. I don't mind. <laughs> well, we've already been through a lot of it, so we'll we'll just freestyle a bit. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. So we were going to close off our 
lighthearted episode by talking about Absolutely. Halloween and adulthood. Halloween. Adult. You wrote Halloween. Hello. 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 Halloween. So Halloween. I know it looks spelled wrong here, but my autocorrect didn't pick it up. So I was like, is it yeah. right? <laughs> I know it's weird. So <laughs> do you still dress up and go to parties? Is it still a big old deal for you? Or is it a low key evening, Raza? What do you like to do? I'm like a hybrid of both. I like going to, well, well, not like huge parties. I like dressing up and going to like hangouts with like four or five of my friends and then going to their house, watching scary movies, getting dressed up and just chilling with some homies and having the devil's night. Hold on, but I don't know. <laughs> um, I like to... I think it just depends on the year. It's really on the year, and I count a flip flop. I either like to party hardy, or just chill out, just do fuck all, and watch some movies. Yeah, and, and this goes into what are your, are your great mem memories while being an adult? This okay. isn't really great. It's more like never again. Um, the one and only year I went there, I fucking like, I think I almost got stabbed there. Uh, I was with my ex, and people mm -hmm. were like, because she was wearing, uh. A, a cop like a like a sexy cop outfit yeah and she told me somebody you know that right yeah so it was just like okay we're never coming here ever again you know that right she's like yeah i don't because chili pepper is like uh, is a very sketchy bar it's like toronto it's like a toronto bar except not toronto Mm -hmm. But it wants no, sorry, sorry, I I phrased it wrong. It wants to be a Toronto bar so badly, but it doesn't have the clout or the or the proper patronage for a Toronto bar. It's all like upper class uh, people that go there, and it's annoying as as hell. And also thirsty dudes. It it, oh, it's a horrible, horrible memory. Horrible. Oh, it's memory. a horrible memory for but, Halloween. Okay. Yeah, I was doing the opposite of that one because I, I, I um, have, all of my good me memories are are with friends, and we, we spoke about it earlier. I had a great time getting a little hammy last year and being the Powerpuff Girls. I really enjoyed that. Really, you're Powerpuff Girls? I don't remember, remember that. Yeah, last I year I was a the scuffed version of the Powerpuff Girls, and, and Which me one? and it was the red one. Blossom, nice. Yeah, the leader. yeah. The first year picker. I didn't. Yeah, I got the hand down because the other dude had black hair and the other dude had blonde, uh, long hair. Oh, so, so homie was bubbles and the other homie was. Bubbles. Yeah, so we kind of was a de facto Who's choice. Mojo Jojo? Uh, we were trying to get our boy Dev to be Mojo Jojo, but Mojo Jojo mm -hmm. was too much effort for him. Versus, we just had to put on a skirt and uh, we put on just. Uh, 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 I, I keep wanting to call them wife beaters, but tank tops. Tank tops, yeah. We were putting on tank tops of the colors. We did tank tops of the colors and just the scuffed ass skirts that our homegirl made us the den the night before. Cool. I like that. I fuck with that. That's actually a really cute one too. I, I like it. I, I, I like it was the it was the budget ass version. It was kind of funny though. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. It's, 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 a, cute. it's all about the thought and creativity that went behind it. <laughs> It's like the cutest call. It was, oh, because it was Chatter. It was Chatter called, Chatterbox called me, and he's like, Bailey, we need your help. We need to complete Why? this outfit. <laughs> <laughs> I can see, okay, I'm there in a minute. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> it's like, I'll I do it. You. I got you. Um, and then adult in adulthood, I was Jesus as well. I was Jesus for Halloween, and Tyra was my monk. What blasphemous for fucking... Some heretic shit. Oh man, it was one of those. Yeah, I was like, I was in. Uh, I went to Tyrell's house, and his stepdad was mad religious, and oh, I got one of those. Like, he's like, "Boy, if you don't step out of my house right now, we chill." But you ain't coming in here dressed like that. I was like, "Yes, sir." Really? Yes, then sir. You took it off? No, I just didn't. I went outside and I had a joint. I just didn't go inside the house. <laughs> like shit, man. Uh, yeah, if yeah. He even said to me later, he was like, he, he was like, I, I like you, I like you, but that wasn't chill. I, that wasn't chill. I was like, oh, I mean, all right, like, man, like my bad. But hey, my house. All right, sorry, sir. Sorry, I'm not the Vatican. All right, sorry, I don't, I don't do what the Vatican does. All right, sorry, I'm. This is the, this is, this is the tamest thing I've ever done. 
Do you still have the Mr. same energy? Mr. McNappy over here. <laughs> Mr. McNappnaps. Do you still have the same energy towards the evening, or are you a downer, which many of us are because socializing and Halloween and blah. I mean, like, I have, like, over the course of the last couple of years, I've, I've just, like, you know, made it a point to only plan things with my, my friends so I know the energy and I know what's going to have happen. And it, it, it usually doesn't, it, 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 it usually goes according to plans. So I don't really have to, because I have the same energy. I'm, like, looking forward to it every year. But, like, I don't really go out. And go to party parties. I like to have like small gatherings where I can just use my energy because I'm not eight 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 anymore. I have a job tomorrow morning. I can't like be out all night and shit. Yeah, you so, can. Like, yeah, you do both. Just do both. See, I'm not a superhero yet. So once I get my origin story, then yeah, I like once I become Iron. Once I get the Iron Man one MCU going, and then I'm, I'm. That would help. You can create a new nanobot liver, and you'll be fine. Exactly, right? But, like, yeah, well, well, I, I assume it's polar opposite for you. You're, like, a party ma monster. I would like to, like, I, li I like my party times, as I said. This one, I, overall, Halloween, I'm a little meh. I like dressing up. I'm still in a little, like, COVID blah mood, so I'm not, mm. like, stoked to go out to a big party this year because I'm just still not in big party energy just yet. Mm. But... Overall, I am a little more bummed on Halloween. I don't like the cheesiness it's now gotten to. What do you mean the cheesiness? This so uh, context building, right? Okay. You know those same girls who were in high school and they were super basic and they wore Amber Crabbe and Fitch and Hollister every day. But look, now, look, look, look what town I come from, Bailey. Yeah, like and, and yeah. so that, and then they moved to U of T, or they moved to the city, and now they right. wear all black and leather, and they're starting to get tattoos, and they're like hipster alt, right? Oh, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. Every right. girl like that who is basic and is now trying to be alt, or like, mm -hmm. you know, I like this special type of latte. Every human. Oh. Who was that and is that? <laughs> now is like, yes, bitch, Halloween's my holiday. I've been waiting all year for spooky season. All that shit is why I hate Halloween. All that shit is why I hate Halloween. It's, it's, it's what they call white girl fall, bro. That's what it is. Exactly. It's, it's become white super white girl fall, and that's kind of ruined Halloween a teeny bit for me. Basic white girl fall, essentially. That's what, yeah. what it is. Yeah. I think I think Wine Mom is like the the antithesis of of all of all that though. She's a basic white girl, but she's also not like like that. <laughs> I guess, yeah, yeah. I think she's into the spooky season vibes, but I don't think yeah. in that way. I think Wine Mom exactly, gets a pass. Yeah. yeah, but that's yeah. I agree with you, and and they're all like dressed the same, like like either a cat or a nurse or a cop. I yeah, think those are the three jobs that women have. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> that's all they can be are those three things, and that's it. Men can be carpal girls if they want to be. <laughs> but girls need to be a, either a cat, a nurse, or a cop, or even let's throw in something in, in the wrench a sexy postal service ma uh, per, uh, a sexy male woman. I don't think uh, uh, me and Elise were very, very close as I was going to cross dress for it as Elise was going, we were going to be B and puppy cat and I would be B and Elise would be puppy cat. I'm going to watch that, that show. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it would be funny, but then all of a sudden it's like, if we got separated, then I'm yeah, just I'm dressed as a woman and yeah, you're just a cat. That. And the outfit doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. If you're in, if, 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 if a couple thing, make sure it's just like when you, yeah, you both are separate. People are like, okay, where is, where is the other half of this? I know there's an, an, another half of this somewhere out there. 
yes. maybe a valid should, uh, life lesson yeah because that's yeah maybe you need to have one that works because yeah otherwise i'm just standing there dressed as a woman which i'm okay with but like yeah like yeah this cartoon i'm supposed to be with a cat but there's no cat this is gonna be there's forever no to explain so, what do you yeah you'll be like so i'm not you, you there's a show this will sound so hilarious. It's not weird at all. This is this is this is a different show. Uh, just, just trust me. And you pull out your phone, be like, "It's a show. It's a show. I'm not weird. It's a show." He's just, just running away from 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 you. Like, look, it's a show. It's a show. Yeah. That's me. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> That's, pretty That's funny. awesome. Actually, I like no, that one. Yeah, just think about that. Be like, okay, maybe if we're gonna do that, let's do a uh, one that it can be separated and people. Mm -hmm. will well, 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 no. Like, one, like you can be the Hamburglar, and then they can be the uh, Ronald McDonald. That's not a bad one. Yeah, it's not a I bad one. So we could be uh, <laughs> Scooby Doo and Shaggy. Uh, dude, I bl no, uh, no, no lie. I blanked out for a second. Like, who is Scooby Doo and Shaggy for a second? <laughs> I, I have this. I, like, I could work. I was gonna say I have this distinct memory of university, and I had the one roommate. He was an inch above being a little person, so he was quite short. He was like five one or something like that. So he was wearing. He lucked out every year because he could buy the children's outfits still. So he would go buy the children's outfits, and he bought a children's Scooby Doo outfit. And he put it on, and it was the most adorable thing. So then we went to the party, and then my buddy, who's six three, yeah. <laughs> stole Shaggy? that Scooby Doo outfit off of him. Oh, and my shit. homie, who's six three, is just wearing a child size fucking Scooby Doo <laughs> outfit with, with his arms just like stuck out. And all night, we're just trying to get him hooked up, yeah, with either a Daphne or a Velma. And it was like the most entertaining conversations because it's like university. We're like, here, look, we got Scooby. You should go home with it. We're all trying to like convince them. They're like, every corner we got to, we had the impediment of he was dressed as a dog, and we were trying to convince them to sleep with them. <laughs> you know who this is? Motherfucker, this is Scooby. One of the iconic, yeah. iconic cartoons out there. Yeah. We you would to get pretty far. Yeah. <laughs> and then they'd be like, no, he's a, just as a dog. <laughs> like, that's just yeah. wrong. Your logic doesn't work here. I don't want to sleep with the dog. I'm like, fuck. Oh, see something, <laughs> see something, Scooby. Let's save. Right, quick. <laughs> Roro. Roro. <laughs> so he said the slur instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm adding that to the popular costumes category, though. I feel like there's going to be a lot of Velmas again. A lot of Velmas. Oh, yeah, Velma. Yeah, because, like, of the new show. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And the fact that people are upset about that because our cartoon yeah. character is gay, which I thought she was gay in the 60s. I thought when she they dropped her, her and uh, Daphne just were... Because I thought 60s was that time of free love, right? And I thought Scooby-Doo is, is a reflection of that time but i i'm fucking wrong sorry for sorry for uh, giving the cartoon the benefit of, of the doubt granted the same company made johnny bravo who's just a fucking guy who can't take no for a, an answer yeah and cow and chicken am i right am i right and fucking uh the the jetsons what's <laughs> Yeah, it is Jetson, yeah. <laughs> All right, Raza, what's your closing Halloween thoughts? What do you have to leave them on a spooky note? Um, Well, I'm going to leave them with the tweet of, of the week. Oh, sorry, thank you. I was going to uh, try to get you to give Halloween thoughts before I do the tweet of the week. Okay, it's not so related. guys, if you're going to do some Halloweening this week, remember, have fun, be safe. Don't rob kids of their candies. Please don't do yeah, do, do that. None and of when that. When somebody tells you to go into their house and take their carrots, just don't go. Just be like, we're fine. Or we'll, we'll go to the, the next house. Keep it. And moving. also, yeah, don't. For the love of God, I can't believe I'm saying this, but like, don't be racist. Just if you need to to do like a character that belongs to a different race, uh, you know. 
do it without doing the blackface. Just a bunch of ideas. I'll, I'll, I'll have an article up tomorrow of how you you can do. I'll, I'll have a medium post how you you can do uh, different races uh, uh, characters without being a, a, a racist. Uh, but what are your closing thoughts, Bailey, or what was mine? Link in description for Roz's article next week. Um, but otherwise, I'm kind of with Raza. Just don't be racist. Uh, think kind about Raza. Kind of don't be racist. Okay, no, not fully with Raza. <laughs> fully, fully. Don't do nothing about racism. If you see a racist costume, let them know that they might be fucking up a little bit. A um, little bit. Uh, be safe out there, because there's still a pandemic and you know, your kids are going to be touching everybody's house. So like, you know, be respectful, be respectful. I'm not going to get to preaching about sanitary conditions, but lots, yeah. lots of kids, lots of snotty noses. I think, you know, what's good. And it's flu season coming up too. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I won't be the preacher, but it ain't over yet. Kids. It ain't over, man. It ain't over till I say it's over. <laughs> in a way um so <laughs> tweet of the week ross has been toning it down to fit the vibes of the episode it's on screen now it's a little uh memed out blown out but i got it here it's on screen it says uh me eat your vegetables baby no me eat an airplane baby <laughs> fucking delicious Yes. Fucking delicious. <laughs> I still do that. That's how my mom feeds me. She's like, okay, Raza. Choo choo choo. Here come the train. That's why you're station. so. That's why you're so focused on staying home and you never stay away from the house. I get it now. You can't eat dinner. Because I can't eat dinner without somebody actually putting it into <laughs> my hat or like fe uh, feeding me directly. My cousin used to do that to like, like no joke, to like the age of like uh, 16. His mom used to be good in the Pakistan. What, what, not oh, that. no. Yeah. Oh, no. Pretty funny, That's actually. no good. I was just like, Mom, like last year, like, Mom, does he do so? He'd be like, no. That's like, the long run. I was like, thank God, man. <laughs> and I was Couldn't probably deal with that too. shit no more. <laughs> do, doing that now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's a bad boy. I don't like that one. No. I don't like that one. <laughs> But, kids, I hope you enjoyed our entertainment for this evening. As we mentioned earlier, we will be doing some upgrades to this. We hope to. I would like to. Things are, things are shifting for the better. We're here putting in the grind. Catch us on the TikToks where you can see our content starting to actually work out. We don't have many followers, but somehow it's getting views. Join us there, Marching Into Madness. We're also on IG, same tag and hopefully some other platforms soon. Otherwise, you can subscribe to our YouTube where we are developing video essays, which will be out in a couple weeks. I don't know. No pressure. Stop asking. And Yeah, fuck you. You're my real dad. <laughs> yeah, step daddy. Mom? Go yeah. get stuck in a washing machine. All right, now it's ruined. You <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, uh, what was I going to say? Subscribe on Spotify. Hit the auto-download. We're on all podcast platforms if you're catching this in video form. And I had one more thing to shout out that was super cool, but I forgot it. So we're going to talk about how grateful I am to have Raza as a creative partner so long as he doesn't pick his nose. I'm flipping him off for our audio listeners. Uh, I'm, I'm giving him the middle finger. So. Up his nose. Up, up, up my back cave. <laughs> <laughs>